Welcome to Media Shift's Digital Media Brief, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids, co-working and child care in San Francisco. I'm Mark Glazer with guests Elia Powers of Towson University, John Ketchum of the Center for Public Integrity, Justin Bank of the New York Times, and Andrew Lee from American University. In the past few years, there's been a growing new role in newsrooms, the engagement editor, responsible for social media comments and the publication's overall relationship with the audience. This new breed of editor mixes marketing, promotion, and editorial, and has to be a bridge between these departments as well. Elio, what exactly does an engagement editor do? So the engagement editor is um, really both on the journalism side and also, frankly, on doing does some stuff which has traditionally been on the business side. So there is um, handling social media accounts, um, working with reporters and editors about social media. Um, there is working with people um, on the business side of it, helping with live events, um, and also um, doing things like figuring out um, analytics and figuring out when the best time to post uh, articles and social media posts are. So it really does have both a traditional journalism and kind of more of a marketing business side um, feel to the job, which is really a kind of a new type of a thing in a, in, a, in a newsroom. And John, what are some of the toughest challenges for an engagement editor? I would say uh, the toughest challenge um, is getting people that uh, don't think about uh, engagement on a uh, daily basis or think it's an important thing, uh, getting them to uh, understand that it is a vital, vital, uh, that is a vital function um, of the uh, newsrooms of today. Uh, I think that um, we need to get people, um, especially more uh, traditional journalists who've been doing this for a very, very long time, uh, we need to get people to understand how they can apply their skills and experience um, to that um, overall um, goal of engagement because a lot of times uh, when engagement uh, or when an engagement strategy um, is uh, is done really really well at an organization um, it can have benefits for uh, for both the journalists um, and sometimes uh, the bottom line of, of an organization so I would say um, getting people to realize that you know this isn't just about you know social media or that the concept of engagement um, is a uh, really, really valuable one. It's something that we should all be uh, focused on. And Justin, how do you manage so many online conversations on so many uh, social platforms and your site? Hopefully a little bit of luck and grace along the way. <laughs> um, you know, uh, you do the best you can. Uh, and sometimes you do a good job. Sometimes things go on really. Um, you have to, it's, it's a lot of discipline, I would say, more than anything else. Uh, there's a lot of good internet out there. There's a lot of good you can do. It's a real discipline for any uh, anyone working in the digital media space to say, I can do a lot of positive things. What are the most positive things I can do that I only make an impact? And how do I measure myself without going crazy with you know, overly paralyzing myself with analysis? And Andrew, why is engagement so important for online publications, and how, how does it help the bottom line? Well, you know, I, I kind of label the engagement editors as the uh, chief lookout officers, right? It's important because you can't just rest on what you think exists today. You always have to be on the lookout for the next platform, uh, the next innovation that's going to be the way that your next million customers hopefully get to you, right? Um, things are shifting so quickly. It's not just the Twitter and Facebook scene anymore. Uh, it's Snapchat for this demographic. It's Pinterest for that demographic. It's for different things happening from all different directions. So it's not an easy job, but you can never say you're going to be bored in this position. And I think in those interviews with people who are engagement editors, that's always the similar theme, that it's never boring. There's always something interesting to be doing. Well, thanks for joining us for the Digital Media Brief from MediaShip, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids. Learn more about their pioneering program combining co-working and childcare at nextspace.us slash nextkids. We'll catch you next week. <laughs>